I think that the whole Cake Island arc has turned out to be a fascinating way for Straw Hats to gauge the true barriers that stand before them. One thing that I found interesting is what the fallout will be of Big Mom's apparent disastrous defeat Big News Morgan's words, not mine. I have a strong gut feeling that we will see exactly how Big Mom reacts to her loss by signaling to the world that she is officially at war with the Straw Hats. She will do this in the most effective way. She will kill some of her family members who lost to Luffy. In particular, I think we will see that Big Mom will kill two characters, Katakori and Brulee. These will be the two most important of Big Mom's crew for her to kill for a few reasons. They are two of Big Mom's crew that stand out as the most prominent of her children who engaged with Luffy, Katakori for losing and letting Luffy go, i.e. for being weak. Speculation, based on what Katakori asked Luffy, will you come back and defeat Big Mom? This struck me as a man voicing his last wish because he foresaw that Big Mom will kill him for losing, because of Luffy's personal link with Katakori, this will serve as a bold statement to Luffy, Brulee for apparently aiding Luffy in disgracing her and ultimately escaping, for appearing weak and being used as a linchpin to the Strafots invasion. This will be done in response to Big News Morgan's reveal of the whole incident. They could be hung, or coated in candy, or half-eaten, or fall to some other unfortunate fate. We will see some sort of response like this from Big Mom because we have not seen how Yonko reacts to defeat and weakness. Big Mom will show us that the Yonko are truly on a completely different scale of brutality than all other pirates. From this event though, Luffy will use their deaths to solidify his own will as to why he has to become the Pirate King, further pushing him towards his ultimate goal. Asterisk theory by Luffy underscore the underscore taco underscore man.